Yo, 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 as I do the thought process of how I'm going to explain this video, I am Terrell, Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Yes, as I told y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go and like and, and all that shit. My Hall of Fame Bullies page and my True American Bullies page. Hall of Fame Bullies is on uh, Facebook. True American Bully is uh, Instagram. I am on TikTok. You know what I mean? I'm about to start doing more little TikTok stuff. I'm, I'm going to be everywhere. I'm, I'm on Twitter, too. Hall of Fame Bullies on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you know, show your boys some love. I'm trying to push some of these numbers up as we, as we move into this thing. But let me explain this, right? I see so many of uh, these quote unquote breeders, whatever we want to call them. And um, they don't have an understanding of what a good dog is. And I say that with the utmost uh, respect, but they don't have the, the they don't have a true understanding of what a good dog is. When I see people and you know what I mean, and they try to break a dog down and all they see is one screwed up feature but the the legs will be bold the back proportions are way too long you see these limousine dogs now you know you see stiff rear see one of the things is if you're going to be a breeder you need to learn the anatomy of a dog you need to learn the conformation of a dog and you need to learn how these things are supposed to be by me going on this social media rampage of putting up all these screwed up dogs and i thank y'all who keep on sending them to me because y'all giving me more material to, to, to put out there and i thank y'all brothers for this but you know as as we do this thing we have to we have to truly look at what we are uh um what we are doing from an educational standpoint and i don't really think that many of you who are talking I don't think you're trying to be malicious. I don't think you're trying to be a smart ass. I just don't think you understand what you're looking at and um, the flaws that you're looking at. I don't think that many people in our community, even those who speak as, you know, like these uh, authorities could actually break down a dog, tell you the functions, tell you the body part, tell you how it's supposed to move, even tell you how the dog is supposed to come together as far as the proportions. Like you have many different, um, areas to every dog. For one, you have your basic confirmation. And when I say basic confirmation, basic confirmation is basically how a dog is put together. Now, that varies a little bit from breed to breed. Um, and some breeds, you will see that they will accept a little bit of a higher rear, and it's in the breed description. Uh, some dogs, you know, they accept a little bit more of a, a, a sloped rear from uh, from the shoulder where the rear is a lot uh, a lot lower to the ground. German Shepherds are an example of that. <sighs> Sometimes they go too far with that shit themselves. But for the most part, in all confirmation, the one things that you don't see allowed is bold legs. That's a structural issue. That's why no real dog breed would ever allow uh, like uh, to have that in their standard because it's immediate feet, ankle, uh, elbow, and shoulder problems, which transfers to other things as you heard me talk about in the other video. So if you see bold legs, or if you see, you know what I mean, that the legs are uh, are not directly under the shoulders, that's a problem. If you see an overly extended chest, that's a problem. The thing that you have to understand is, and, I, and I've talked about this on a previous video, understand that a dog is like a table, right? And 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 in, and in these I mean in these uh, sequences, you want your table to be on solid ground, one way or the other. You know what I mean? You don't want if if you build a table and it's way too long, right? And it's nothing in it's just four legs, but it's a super long table. What will happen is that the table is very very weak in the middle, very weak in the middle. If you build a table, right? <laughs> And you build the and you build the legs shorter on one end, and the table sort of slants. Over time, what will happen is, and some of us who've had cheap furniture back in the day knows this: if your furniture is not balanced, it starts to wiggle apart at the joints, even where the stuff was screwed in, and you can't figure out why. It's because there's no balance, and there's and there's a lot of different stress. Talk to carpenters. If you if your measurements are not properly, and you're putting stress points on a table, it'll start to break itself apart. It's the same thing with a dog. Your dog is not supposed to be super, super wide or super, super long. 
this is where symmetry comes in. A dog is supposed to be put together in a symmetrical form because that helps with its movement. It helps with its overall conformation. And those two things equal out to be better health for your dog. <sighs> That's the second part of it. Of course, we go into the things of color variations, color patterns, why these color patterns are not allowed or allowed and different things of that nature. We also go to head structure. We also go to the functionality of the of the muzzle. And this is where we go into more internal things. You know, so it's a, it, it's important that you study all of these things to understand, you know, what an elongated palate is. What's the function of the muzzle and how the muzzle actually works to help your dog by cooling the air that's going into his lungs, therefore helping the dog stay cooler. All of these things from, you know, the smallest thing of the paws, the, uh, the function of the joints and how it's important for your dog's joints to be able to have proper bend and movement in them. All these things are very, very important. Um, you can look at the charts to see how the feet placement is actually supposed to be on these dogs. You can look at the charts to see how the legs are straight up and down. You can look at, you know, you can look at a lot of other breeds and see how the movement is and how these dogs flow and how it's a very, very nice and even killed movement. You can look at a many different things to try to make yourself more versed at what you're trying to do here as a breeder, if you want to be a breeder or even as a pet owner. The more you study into dogs, not just the American bully, not just the extreme or the exotic, but as you study more into dogs, you will get an understanding as to why every dog was made a certain way and why, you know, the canine species in general has basic rules that should not be broken ab about its conformation and functionality. I think if we educate ourselves to a higher level of understanding the dog, not American bully, not exotic, but understanding a dog, I think a lot of people will get their eyes wide open to actually what's going on. Now, some people won't care because a lot of you people know some of these dogs you see are obviously unhealthy and really you're going into this thing of, oh, you're hating that bullshit. So who gives a shit about that? But for those of you who want to know, you know what I mean? Start studying up on dogs, the anatomy of dogs. We are blessed in this technological age to have Google. And they can tell you all about dogs' fronts. You can find out all about abnormalities in the front, abnormalities in the muzzle, how the muzzle is supposed to be. You know what I mean? Everything. You can find out about the neurological system and the uh, importance of uh <clears throat> excuse me of, of the muscles and the back and the uh conformation of the back you can find out all of these things just online if you want to study you know everybody studies pedigrees but do you know dogs if you had to take a small test and you had to point out different parts of the dog's body and actually name them could you do that could if somebody asked you to basically tell what the um standard is for whatever breed you are could you tell the uh could you tell the standard and could you tell what the dog is supposed to be these things are very very important if you call yourself breeding because knowledge comes before action you know what i mean if you're moving without knowledge you're just out here wandering around baby but uh we're gonna talk more and more man but tomorrow's show is gonna be great man so y'all make sure y'all tune in and like I said on the previous video, man, if you want to do the cash app, that is TBKC Dogs. Um, if you want to do the Zelle, that is 346-292-6560 or TBKC Dogs at Gmail. Zelle uses them a million things. But I thank y'all, who all of you guys who've been hitting me up, asking me about that. I appreciate every donation period. As y'all know, it, it takes a lot to run a lot. So... I appreciate that, but uh, I got one more video to talk about. Till next time, y'all. Much love. God bless. Peace.